What are you in fear of? Future. I'm going to use a word on you, the time. You're afraid of time. I feel time is just running out. All right, so if you notice on the board, I have fear and time, but time is not running out. You're in a perfectly good spot. Just allow and be yourself and stop worrying about everything. If you stop worrying about everything, you don't make something grow that doesn't have to grow. You understand why I use that terminology? I'm just, my daughter's having issues with a divorce and she's just taking it out of me. And we used to be so close and now it's just so strange. She's 12 years old and I'm just afraid of losing her and I don't know why. It's just this sense of. All right, you're afraid of losing? Just losing her, not in terms of her, something happening to her, but just. You know, I don't know, I just feel like competition with my ex-husband, I, I can't explain it. She's taking the divorce out on me and I'm just... How old is your child? She's 12. Okay, what happened when she was 10? We were having a lot of problems. Okay, so she absorbed all those problems. And as you can see, I kind of write things down before I get there, but she answered me too quickly. In other words, she absorbed all the nonsense that was going on. I don't believe that children need to hear what parents... You wouldn't let a child hear we were having sex in the next room. We'd be a little quiet. Children shouldn't hear problems that adults are having. And you can say she didn't hear, but I know that she did. So you're fighting for yourself. But this child of yours realized there's something going on. Can you follow that? All right. Now let, let's let's go with you, and then I'll get back to you, back to your back to your back to your. Who stuttered? Because I went to say something, I had to repeat it. Who was a repeater? Me. All right. You repeat things. All right. That's what you have to stop doing to yourself: is saying the same thing over and over and over. Because what you're doing is, when you water a plant, if you give it too much water, what happens? The plant dies. So you're overreacting. You're trying to give more than you should. Who you did a lot of yelling in your house? Who did? Mm -hmm. Um, my dad. Okay. Clinton, are you in the middle of changing career or changing jobs? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever injure your neck or shoulder? Everything. You injured everything. When did you start to learn to love life? Um, when I first moved out of my parents' house. Okay. Do you ever work with cars? All the time. Okay. What happened when you were 17? Um, I was in a really bad motorcycle accident. I was hit by a drunk driver. Okay. What were you smoking at the time? I was smoking cigars. Okay. I feel, I don't know, um, did you see anything else? I mean, you were pointing out some very serious injuries that you can't tell because I don't have any limps or anything. Clinton, what I see for you is to focus on this life, not the next life. You understand that? Too many times you said, I want to die, I want to die, I want to die, to self, correct? How do you know that? Because the, whoever's out there is telling me. <laughs> so uh, when you're saying, I want to die, I want to die, a s someone out there, some spirit hears you and they're answering you. So don't play around. Just say, I want to live and start wa watching where you're going and enjoy enjoying your life. Enjoy her and yeah. stop wanting what you're not ready for because it may come and you're going to be a very sorry man. And go back and get some more education. You're lacking some education. I'm not saying you're a dummy. You just need a little more education so you can. Does it have to do with the career change or should I give that up? All right, if that is your dream, listen, I had a business, but this is really what I needed to do. I had to give up the business to do what I, what I do today. So for you, you have to decide. You can go to school and follow your dream at the same time. Mm -hmm. Don't cry wolf anymore. Honest question, honest answer. Okay. Okay. You don't like being last, do you? No. No. Okay. In another setting, I would have went to you last. And why would I have gone to you last? And if we were still doing the same thing. You're asking me why I would have gone to me last? I, I don't really know. Okay. 
because sometimes we need to follow what's so true to ourselves because this is what we believe. And you believe you deserve to be last when you really deserve to be first. Can you understand that? Okay. Okay. Do you deserve to be what number? First. First. Always first. In your life, always first because if you're not first, how are you going to take care of everybody else? How many people do you take care of? Two. Two. Who do you take care of? My children. Okay. I wrote down children. Where's your husband? He passed. Okay. I wrote down the word gone, meaning he crossed over, not that he left you. Okay. Brenda, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make anybody cry. But when I got your husband, I want to ask you about roses, flowers, the word flowers. You know anything about the flowers? My son just gave me roses for Valentine's Day and said, Dad would want you to have them. Okay. So when I got your husband, I got the throat, the chest, and the head, and I don't know, and I got a pain in my temple. Why? He had head and neck cancer. Okay. So when you see me do this, so I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I do pro Wait a minute. I'm sorry about this. One second. Did you have the opportunity to say I love you? Even if he mouthed it. He always tried to. He, yeah. yeah. Because his words now, I love you. And he's with a female. But one of the female relatives came to greet him and take him with him. Now it could be his mother, grandmother, your mother. It's a female. I don't know. What is the initial J? It could be the uh, month or someone's name. He died in July. Okay. So we know. I'm so glad that someone met him. We know that when someone crosses over, we don't just die. We don't just don't end it right there either, whatever way we're going to have a funeral for the person. That's a way of saying goodbye to the physical body. But there's that soul, and the soul to me, uh, and we're not talking religion here, the soul to me is a circle of life. And it just, when, when, the, when the body leaves, that soul leaves. And it's a circle, it's infinity, it goes on forever and ever and ever. And if that loved one chooses to come back in another form, and they will come back in, in another form. As far as, um, 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 Anybody with sanitation, cop <clears throat> sanitation, anything like that? Um, our family business was scrap metals, okay. recycling. Okay, recycling junk, no, mm -hmm. garbage, okay. Um, um, I want to finish off something. You have a son? Mm -hmm. Son, is he very much like your husband? Oh, yeah. yeah. When I ask people to watch my body language, because you can't see the person, and I may see the physical person, you know, the physical being, or I just hear it up here, I'm giving you an action. What are you looking for closure to? Closure. My mother's death. All right. Your mother died naturally? Suddenly. All right. Now, this could be off the wall. Do you think there was foul play? On her part. I mean, I, she may have known something for a long time. It was, it's all within her. Uh, I don't believe that um, um, foul play as far as somebody hurting her. But I think your mother tried not to hurt you. So it was ovarian to stomach to everything that went on. So in the final stage, it's, it's what I asked you earlier. Can you understand that? And she's fine. But I'm being shown an altar, an altar. And what does Mary or Marie mean to you? Um, Marie, it was my confirmation name. Okay, that's what we need to know. Which one, Mary or Marie? Well, it's Maria. All right, Maria, they both, they're both uh, belong to each other. 
So I, I, I just kind of dance when I talk about religious stuff because there's a religious message for you here through your mother, which is that this, at this altar, she's at the altar with Mary or Marie, and she's mighty fine. She's perfectly fine. And this was more the people or the saints or the religious people that she spoke to prior to dying. She held on to her faith, but it was a secret. It was a secret between her, her maker, and whoever was her, her um, physician. I don't even think she liked to go to the physician. I don't think she wanted to know anything. Now, I look at you and you have eyeglasses. Mom had eyeglasses? Uh, yes. All right, where are they? Uh, okay, they were on her at the viewing and I was upset that they were. They shouldn't have been. Okay, so why would I go there? And it's okay to cry because it's a safe place. Nobody's gonna, it's okay to let, release. Release, the reason why God gave us tears or the universe gave us tears is really to cleanse everything inside of us. And we have no other way to, to escape the, the, the uh, what, what happened. So we know that your mother is fine. I know it, you gotta know it. Oh, I, I know it, I do know it. So now. But I'm mad at her. Don't be mad. <laughs> All right. Lim, now on a serious note, how long is mom crossed? 2006. Just about nine. Nine is endings, meaning endings. So um, it's time for you to get rid of your anger because she may not have said goodbye then, but she was saying goodbye prior in all little ways. She did all little things to let her, her family know she was gone, whether she gave a knick-knack or some nonsense. May have meant, meant nothing at that moment, but this is who the woman was. She lived out of her pocketbook, so to say. You understand oh, that? Yeah. Closed her bag and that was it. Um, what I did want to say, and I got kind of lost for a moment. Let me go back there again. You're not, you might be mad at her, but you're not really mad at her, you're mad at yourself. Because maybe for that day or that week or that month you weren't there to, you were taking care of children, whatever you were doing, and you're saying to yourself, why weren't, wasn't I there? Why didn't she wait for me? Some people have to leave by themselves. Mm -hmm. That's very important. My, for me, my mother told us all, when it's my time, you gotta get out of the room. I need to do this alone. Your mom needed to do this alone. Did she have body movement after the stroke, like shaking? Um, who, whose hand moved? Like my hand is in... in, in, in um. She would get nervous uh, that's after... What, that's what I'm looking she for. She had her stroke, she get nervous. Don't give me no, no more information. All right, so the, we definitely have your mother, sweetheart, because I'm feeling it here. But I'm, I'm feeling it... I, I, I see backwards, so I'm feeling it all on this side, one side. The other side feels all right to me, and one side. Now it could be the right or the left, and I'm feeling this tremor and this nauseousness. It's all coming from one side. So I... I, I uh, I think, I, I don't know how a stroke goes, but I think it was like an aneurysm in the brain or something in the brain kind of broke and created this, um, this, um, this, um, this stroke. Now, what, what happened just now is, it's, I sound repetitive, but I'm taking on what, you, what was going on with your mom. I'm sure of that, this lack of being able to communicate. Now, I don't try, I don't want anybody to think I try to cover up something I say. I go with what I say, and I believe in what I say because it could be the very end of the person leaving here, us here on Earth plane, and she's not possibly not remembering. I'm not forcing her to remember. And what did you need to know the most? Who loves you? My mother. Your mother. I love her you and that was one of the most important things how could you feel her more than than and, and and more how could you feel your mom's presence more by doing what there's so many things what do you do for a living okay i noticed your your <laughs> earrings your earrings so i didn't want to say to you make a big thing i don't do that even if i wouldn't just wouldn't do it but i want to i want want to tell you when you're home in, in your, on your side of the bed, not his side, put, 
get a rose, a fresh rose, and put it there and think of your mom. Because what happens with our loved ones is you'll hear them through electricity, um, a bell going off, the telephone ringing, the oddest things. They do it through electricity because it's very difficult for, the, for them to uh, communicate and they don't stay long.